Enril Munkara was carving his expressive figurines at an eventful time on Bathurst Island. The long-term ban on ceremonial activity there was lifted, precipitating a revival in ceremonial performances during the 1950s. Interest in Tiwi art was also escalating, with visits from researchers and collectors like Stuart Skoogle, Tony Tuxon and Dorothy Bennett, who collected these sculptures around 1956. At this stage, there were only a handful of practicing artists on Bathurst and the adjacent community of Paru. Prominent among them were Cardio Keranawia and Enril Munkara, who spearheaded the development of the small figure carving movement that is now the mainstay of Tiwi art. While such figuration was rare at the time, it did have a traditional precedent. The incorporation of human heads into the conventionalised form of the Tiwi burial pole was first recorded in the 1930s and by the 1950s, small softwood figures were also occasionally placed on the grave during a Pukamani mortuary ceremony. These statuettes represented the body of Purukapali, who drowned himself in sorrow after the death of his baby son. Enril's figures of Purukapali and his wife Waye are unique in the way they capture the abject grief of these bereaved ancestors, with their hunched shoulders and numbed expressions. The vulnerability of the YA carving is especially captivating, as it was due to her adultery with Purukapali's brother, Tapara, that their baby son died of exposure. She turned into a curlew with its mournful cry after Purukapali decreed that humankind should become mortal and performed the first Pukamani burial ceremony.